Hi guys, welcome back to Hanging Out with Lori. I'm Lori. If you're new here, welcome. I am glad to have you. Please hit the subscribe button. No, you can hit the like button too. But please hit the subscribe button so and the notification bell so you're notified when I upload and hit, hit the like button if you like um, this video. Before we get started, look, my chin is getting a little better, so I thought I'd risk putting on a little bit of my products from the Drop 10 Before Summer. And so, because it's, it's healing, which makes me happy, but I wish it was in there. But what do you do? Life happens, right? So today we are going to talk trash. And I am just going to highlight the good, the bad, and the ugly of this month. And there's only one ugly, a few bad, and quite a few good. Let us get started. The ugly of the month is this Ulta Beauty Lip Primer. And as you can see, I have used almost none of it and I have had it for a while hoping that it would work at some point but it's horrible it burns when you put it on I'm thinking maybe it's supposed to be a lip plumper but it doesn't say that on here it says it's a color enhancer um, but it burns and it has this horrible chemical smell and it's just unpleasing all the way around so this is the ugly for this month. I am finally decluttering it. I have said no more. Okay, the bad of the month. And this is only bad in one way. And this is the Body Shop Pink Grapefruit Body Butter. Now the body butter is awesome. And as you can tell, I have used it all. Um, and I love everything grapefruit but this is just so sour um, and your skin smells sour all day long which is just un it isn't it is not a pleasure to put on your skin and smell that all day but the body butter is nice it soaks in it keeps your skin nice and soft and moisturized so I like the Body Shop body, body Butter, and I would buy it in a different scent, but the Pink Grapefruit is just, it's, it's rank. <laughs> There's no other way to say it. I don't know how to say it. The next thing is the Dior um, Mascara, the Dior Show. Now, formula-wise, this was all right. Um, but brush wise, it looks like a little Christmas tree. I mean, it's humongous, hard, hard to manage. At least for me, it was hard to manage. The formula was comfortable to wear, you know, you didn't really know it was there, but this is just hard to work and get a good application. I did not like the brush. I liked the formula, so I called this bad, and I used it for about a month, and I threw it away. I couldn't do it anymore. Now this is NYX or NYX. Again, someone tell me how to say it down in the comments below. And that this is the matte finish setting spray. Now I purchased this on accident. I meant to purchase the dewy, and I purchased matte and I'm a little older and matte a matte look does not look good at least on my skin it just really enhances um, the fine lines and wrinkles and sagging skin that I have and so um, I took I had bought two of these and I took the one back and but since I had already used this I just um, used it up and finally it got used. The mist, the spray mist on this is nice. It um, gives a nice, off a nice mist. 
um, but I just don't like the matte formula. So this is my bad on my part. The formula is fine. I am sure if you like a matte setting sprays, but for me it was a bad. I won't repurchase this. I will try the Dewey um, formula. I hear it's good, so um, I will try that. But for me, matte, bad. Okay, now on to the good. The first one is First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. I actually finished up this small tube that it hangs out in my shower bag. I finished this up and then I finished up a jar. I figured I didn't need to show you both, but I use a lot of this as I've talked about in my skincare um, video. So yeah, this is my ultra repair cream and I actually need to repurchase one of these smaller ones. I wish I had had this when Jordan was young because we tried everything with her um, and her eczema, her poor little eczema skin to find something that didn't hurt her and we were never successful. I think she has now found a regimen that works for her but we've we tried everything so if you have a child who suffers from eczema, try the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. It really is amazing. Okay, this, moving on, this is the Dove Advanced Care Revive 48 hour antiperspirant and deodorant. I use a lot of these. I purchased mine off of Amazon because they're cheaper. Um, and I, I try all the different flavors, I guess, scents, if you will, sorry. Um, just because I like a little variety. I'm not picky about the smell. So whatever's cheapest at that moment when I'm ordering, that's what I get. And this one, I think, was the pomegranate one. And it was a nice scent. So, um, the next one was... A sample bath and shower gel cherry blossom by L'Occitan. Now I loved this. I wish it wasn't so darn expensive, but it is so I I won't repurchase it only because I can't afford to purchase this. Purchase, yeah, that yeah, I can't afford to buy this. Um but it smells so good. When you take a shower, it is just heaven to smell and so that's the L'Occitane Cherry Blossom. Your skin is nice and soft afterwards. It's great so whenever I get a sample of it I love it and I and I use it sparingly to make it last because I like it so much. Now this one I got a sample of and I had never used a gel moisturizer, and this is the Garnier Skin Active Moisture Balm. Um, and I got this from Garnier, and as you can see, I wiped that puppy clean, and I really liked it. I think it, this would be perfect for me in the summertime. I think it would give almost enough moisture. I'd still have to use the Ultra Repair Cream underneath. But in the winter, it's just not enough for me. Um, but it goes on so nice and light. And the smell to it is just kind of refreshing. I wouldn't say it's cucumbery, but more like a water, water scent to it. It's just light and like now it's gone. It was there when I first rubbed it on and now that scent is gone. So this is something that I will probably purchase for the purchase. That doesn't sound like a word, but I think it is. <laughs> it's early morning here, sorry. Um, this is something I will buy for the summertime and see if it works um, for me because I don't like a heavy moisturizer in the summer, but with really dry skin, sometimes you have to. Okay, the next one is the Senorita Margarita Shampoo 
shower gel and bubble bath now as you can see there's just a little in there and I could probably let it sit like this but since I live downstairs everything sits in my bag and so I don't have any place to let it sit like that so I'm calling this good um, or I could put water in there and slosh it around but I'm just calling it good it was just a light fresh refreshing um, you know fruity scent and so I really liked it um, the next one is the Corez Wild Rose Advanced Brightening Sleeping Facial. Now I got a sample of this and I loved this. It is nice and thick. If you don't like the scent of roses, you wouldn't like this. And I'm not a huge rose fan, but it was, it was okay, the scent wise. But moisturizer wise, it was amazing. It I didn't have to use the Ultra Repair Cream with this. I just put it on and it didn't burn and it soaked in and my skin was so soft and, you know, touchable. It wasn't tacky or anything. It was it just a beautiful moisturizer and, oh, excuse me, sleeping facial. Now, I didn't notice any brightening or anything of that, but I wasn't looking for it. What I really was looking for was how moisturizing it was, and this is moisturizing. So if you have dry skin, look into the Corez Advanced Brightening Sleeping Facial if you don't mind the scent of rose, um, because this is awesome. Okay, the next one was a sample. It's a Dove Body Wash in Pear and Aloe Vera. It's their Go Fresh um, body wash. This scent is awesome. I wish you guys could smell it. Oh, it is amazing. This is something I will purchase for the summer. I There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I will because it is so light and refreshing. It just, yeah, I mean, your skin gets clean and it isn't drying to the skin, but it's the scent that gets me on this one. See, I can't stop smelling it because it smells so good. And that is the Pear and Aloe, Pear and Aloe Vera Dove Body Wash. If you're into body washes, go try that one. And the last thing, it's certainly not because it's my favorite or my least favorite, it just happens to be what I picked up last, is the Amand um, Hand and Nail Care by L'Occitane. It also is a sample. It's their almond scented um, hand lotion and I squeeze this puppy dry. Yeah, it's almond. At least it smells almond to me and I'm assuming that's what Amand stands for. But anyways, I love this stuff. And just like its little sister, the Cherry Blossom Shower Gel, um, this is darn expensive. So I, I won't purchase one of these little doohickeys. I, I know they come in just a little bit bigger bottle, but they're expensive and so Whenever I get samples of them, I will enjoy them and it will last me a while. This one lasted me quite a while, um, but I won't purchase it just because it's not in my price range. So that is my good, bad, and the ugly for February, March. All right, you guys have a great day and I will see you on the next one.